Australia's growing addiction to vitamins. We bought more than $2 billion worth last year. It's a staggering figure, especially when you consider research shows most vitamins do us no good at all, and some can actually do harm. David Eccleston investigates the real vitamin deficiency. They're the giant in their field used to peddle a $2 billion a year business. Bob Webber, you have won the Grand Prix. Brilliant try. Well done. You can be confident Swiss men's oldivites work because they've had them independently tested. Served up to us as the edge required to perform at our peak in the game or in the frame. Fussy eaters can be healthy with Blackmore's Kids Multi. There are good evidence-based complementary medicines, but unfortunately there's an awful lot of rubbish out there. Tonight, two independent experts and the man who swallowed the many promises, taking 22 tablets a day for better or worse. There's absolutely no evaluation to see whether complementary medicines work. There's a few checks to make sure that they are relatively safe ingredients, but uh, no pre-market assessment to see whether the claims made are, are work or not. We can thank Dr Ken Harvey for taking on the pharmaceutical giants. As Associate Professor of Public Health at the La Trobe University, Ken is furiously trying to rewrite many of the claims made by drug companies. The TGA does limited post-marketing reviews. A couple of years ago, 90% of the products they occasionally looked at failed for regulatory requirements. Uh, the latest result was 75%. It's an extraordinary system where the governing body, the TGA, or the Therapeutic Goods Administration, does little to rein in the rhetoric. In fact, they have never fined or taken a single company to court for misleading customers. They were mocked recently by the Chaser team on the ABC show The Checkout. So in Australia, edible Indian cactus in pill form, whether Reductor or Slimaluma, went on sale because Fat Blaster and Swiss signed some forms to say that it worked, based on some evidence that was unlikely to be reviewed. After the review, the TGA ruled Swiss was indeed making false claims with its Ultiboost appetite suppressant. Helps reduce hunger levels and control your appetite. So what did Swiss do? They simply changed the name. In their official release to distributors, they said, This is not a new line of Swiss product, rather a new name for the same product. Customers should be directed to purchase hunger control instead. That was six weeks ago. Yesterday, we had no trouble finding the unapproved stock on shelves. Look, that's a standard trick when um, either complaints get up or the TGA finally does an investigation. Reductor Fat Blaster tablets, after review, now labelled hunger reduction. Ethical Nutrients was this week told to stop selling its women's hygiene product in a health candex. Once again, we had no trouble buying it. Maybe we could actually have a blood test that I would do in the beginning before I took them and then a blood test afterward. For five months, Time magazine's John Cloud took a cocktail of 22 vitamins a day to see if it improved his well-being. When the five months was up, tests showed that there was very little benefit from the 3,000 plus tablets. Some of these products can actually be dangerous. Carol Bennett is CEO of Consumer Health Reform and claims the TGA see the supplement industry as low risk. But low risk doesn't mean no risk. They can cause adverse effects and in some people they can even cause death if they're taken the wrong way. Alarmingly, a recent US study of nearly 40,000 women aged 55 to 69 found those who take multivitamins were 2.4% more likely to die in the two decades that followed. According to the study, published in the US journal Archives of Internal Medicine, women who take magnesium supplements are 3.6% at higher risk. That figure increases slightly with iron tablets. B6, which can create mass toxicity, causing the body to go into overdrive to control it, can cause serious damage to nerve function. With a 4.1% higher risk of death, folic acid can be deadly for some older women as it can increase the likelihood of heart attacks, lung and prostate cancer. The study did show how some supplements can be beneficial, mainly calcium. Those who take it are 3.8% more likely 
quickly to live longer. At Blackmores, our fish oils are rigorously tested for quality and highly purified. Our experts are calling for stricter labelling and tougher penalties for misleading claims. They're also demanding that every product is independently tested and not by a researcher bankrolled by the drug companies. I think they are aware that the system needs to change um, and so I live in hope. The TGA declined our offers for an on-camera interview but say a review into the industry is underway.